and I take this sport seriously. There's a lot of people that are going to try to tell you you can't make it, but you can't listen to them. you got to follow your heart. You have to have faith in yourself. <sighs> Let me get back to my dieting. I'm going to give you an example of what my diet currently is now. My first meal is always going to either be shredded potatoes and, and five eggs. You don't need to go overboard and eat like a million eggs. You just eat whatever you feel like eating. And if that satisfies you for your first meal, you got to listen to your body. Got to listen to your body. So you eat like a so just um, just give it a shot of what I'm telling you. You know, just um, take bits and pieces from what I tell you. And, you know, try to apply it to your own routine and see if it works. If it doesn't, my routine doesn't work for you, then try something else. But I'm just going to give you an example of, of what my diet routine is in terms of eating or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm, I'm going to try not to get into specifics here because I want, you to, I want you to make your own assessment of what to do. Okay, so my first meal would consist of, of you know, basic hash browns and five eggs. That's it. That's what I eat. And a soda. I drink soda. A lot of soda. You know, you could drink soda. It's, you're not, you're not, it's not going to hurt you. You can drink soda. You could drink juice. You could drink, you don't have to depend on protein shakes and everything like that, man. You're getting enough protein. Trust me. You got to have the right mixture of protein and carbs, you know. Listen to your body. I can't say that enough. Listen to your body. And I've explained to you what that is. And believe me, you'll understand it soon enough. If you don't understand what that means, give it some time and you'll begin to understand. All right, that's my first meal. My second meal is a frozen dinner. Put it in the microwave. You pack it up. I pack up my stuff in Tupperware. And it'll consist of a frozen dinner that has turkey, stuffing, and mashed potatoes, and some green beans. That's it. And then I pack a soda with that. That's all you got to do, and that will be like, don't be concerned about the calories. Don't be concerned about the amount of protein that's in it. Be concerned about just packing a decent meal with you and having that as your meal. You have one meal as your beginning meal. You, you can eat that at home. And then if you want to go out, if you want to, if you want to go outside and do something, go do whatever you want to do, pack your meals up in a, in a shop right bag, pack your meals up in whatever you got to do, put it in some Tupperware, bring it with you. And then that's your second meal. Your third meal can be anything. It could be the same as your second meal, another turkey meal with green beans, stuffing and mashed potatoes that you could get in any shop right you could get a frozen dinner that consists of that heat it up in your microwave it's that simple you don't even need a stove you don't need a stove <coughs> i'm giving you the key to the mint people but you got to open it you got to open the vault i'm just doing my best to tell you everything that i know about this and you could you could listen to me you don't have to listen to me those are my three meals right there. And then I and if and if I'm lucky, and if I'm lucky, I'll get a fourth meal. My fourth meal will either be a cheesesteak, the greasiest cheesesteak. It's food, people. Can't stress that enough. It doesn't matter how much fat is in your food. Fat can be your friend. You need to have some fat because you need your your body needs to be able to metabolize something. If you if you do not have the money to go to GNC and buy all these expensive supplements, then you have to depend on your food. That is going to be your main benefit, or one of your main benefits in this sport. It's going to be the ability to to go to a store, man, and just buy whatever, buy whatever you think is healthy for you. What works for you? Listen to your body. Okay, so there's four meals right there. That's what I'm currently eating. This could switch up. I don't know what my diet's going to be next month. It's February now in March. It could be a different it could be a different diet. I switch up my diet constantly. There was one month where I where I only ate tilapia 
every day. All my meals were tilapia. Then I had to switch it up because my body was telling me this isn't working, so you got to switch it up. Eat a steak meal, sweet potatoes. That could be your first meal. You can eat steak and sweet potatoes as in, on for breakfast. It doesn't need to be oatmeal. It doesn't need to be egg whites or 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 freaking hash browns. You could switch it up. Do whatever do whatever food that you feel like eating. Have an open mind. Listen to your body. If your body's telling you to eat this, eat it. Eat it in the morning. If you feel like you want to eat steak and potatoes for breakfast, eat it for breakfast. Second meal, you can you can have hash browns and eggs as your second meal. Have an open mind. For your third meal, you can have you could you could go to Burger King, get two burgers, spread out those meals, get one burger, one fries, one burger, one fries. That's that's two meals. You pack those up, bring it with you. You have to eat it cold. That's another thing I have to explain to you. You have to get used to eating food cold. Very important. Very, very important. Because you're not always going to be in a place that has a microwave, so you got to get used to eating food cold. Got to get used to it. I don't drink shakes. I don't I don't take pills. What I do is I work very hard in the gym. I do 200 arm curls 40 on a 40 pound bar. That's one set. And then I'll go and then I'll I'll switch from arms to chest in the same workout. I'll do about 100 a hundred, um, a hundred no plate, um, bench press just with the bar, a hundred reps, and then I'll I'll put two forty-five pl pound plates on each side, so it's probably about a hundred pounds, including the bar. The bar is probably five to ten pounds, so then I do about around twenty-six reps with a hundred pound bench press. I'm trying to tell you my my exercise routine also. Take bits and pieces of it. Don't do what I do. Take bits and pieces of what I do. Because you, your body, everybody's body is different. So, you, so you, from there, I would, I, would go to, I would go on the machines and I would do about, about 50 reps on a, on a chest machine with about 100. It could fluctuate from 100 pounds to about 180. You know, I do I do I do about 50, 40 to 50 reps on a on a on a chest machine. You know, and then from there, I could just go from chest to legs in the same workout. I go from arms to chest to legs, all in the same workout, and that's what I do. I've been doing it for 12 years, and you've seen my results on how great I look. You know. It might not work for you, but I'm just giving you I'm just giving you an example of what I do and you could you could take some some uh, bits and pieces of what I do and apply it to your routine and and it could make your workout better. I'm just trying to give everybody some advice here on YouTube. It's just, you know, do what you think is right for you, you know? Don't look at somebody like Jay Cutler. Don't look at somebody like Kai Green or or Rich Piana. Don't look at somebody like like me, Marco Budznowski, and say that you know that you're gonna look like us because you're doing what you're doing. You gotta you gotta just do your own workout, but don't be lazy in the gym. That's one of the best pieces of advice that I, I can give you. Do whatever you, you have to do to have some intensity in that gym, to sweat. You have to have sweat pouring. You have to have that. That makes your muscles work harder. That burns fat. You need a sweat. You need to have your muscles sore. Because one of the things I've said from day one is soreness translates to muscle growth. Soreness translates to muscle growth. There's a difference between there's a difference between the terms of pump, 
soreness and growth. A pump is not exactly soreness. Soreness can only be attained by by busting your ass in that gym and doing an example of what I gave you in that gym. I could give you an example of my leg workout, use bits and pieces off of it because not everybody's going to be able to do my routine. It's a very, very difficult routine that took me a very long time to perfect. I could post up all the videos. I have videos on my channel that, you know, that basically prove that my workout is extremely hardcore. You could take bits and pieces of it, please. That's what I'm making this video for, is to instruct people that <coughs> don't do everything that everybody tells you. Take bits and pieces and apply it to your routine. Don't, don't take everything that everybody tells you and think, oh, you're going to get big because you're doing everything he tells you. That's not going to get you results. You got to take bits and pieces. Everybody's body's different. If you have a slow metabolism, you don't have to eat that much. If you have if you have a fast metabolism like mine, to get gains is much more difficult because you got to constantly be eating. You have to constantly be eating all the time. I try to eat four meals a day. I don't have that much money. I'm on EBT. The economy, as you people know, is very rough. It's hard to make money. But I'm telling you, it is possible to be successful in bodybuilding even if you don't have any money, even if you don't have a car. I use a bike. I, I don't have a car. I don't have a bike. I live in a mobile home that is very difficult to live in, in a, in a, in a place that, that's very difficult to live in. I don't live in California. I wish I did. There's nothing I can do about that. You just got to make you got to make the best of what you have and just and just work extremely hard in the gym. I cannot stress that enough. You have you can't be lackadaisical or lazy. You can't just for example, you can't just do like about 10 reps of arm curls with with whatever weight you want and think that doing three sets of that you gotta you gotta do supersets you gotta constantly be working in the gym you can't take it easy in there that's that's one of the things that's gonna get you results this is one of the second things that could get you results that works for me is eating a very strict diet as I told you and and, and one of the, the third thing that will that will definitely help you is if you don't drink, you don't smoke, you don't do drugs. I don't drink, don't do drugs, and I don't smoke. 